Hi everyone, welcome to our next video tutorial. Now I have a piece here of Whisper White cardstock. This piece measures five and five eighths by three and seven eighths of an inch. And what I want to do, I've got my pool putty ink and a stampin' sponge, is I want to create just a little sponged area right here in the middle. Reason being is that I'm going to put some an element in front of it, and I just want a bit of a, a blue highlight just behind it so I've decided to use pool party so just in a circular motion very lightly I'm adding that color so I'm not sure if you can see that at all but it is quite faint but that's the kind of look that I was after so I'm just going to set that aside actually before we do let's stamp our greeting so I've got some embossing but we're going to emboss our greeting so I'm going to run that towards the bottom and my greeting today is coming from the perfect plaid stamp set and I've got this here may your special season be wrapped in joy love and joy and I'm going to ink this up in Versamarca ink I'm just going to place this down the bottom I'm going to sprinkle on some gold embossing powder Okay, we're going to heat set that till it melts and then we'll be back. Okay, here's my card. I'm going to set that aside for a moment. So I have some scrap pieces of cardstock here. I've got some cherry cobbler, knight of navy, shaded spruce and some pool party. I'm going to rub my embossing buddy over all of these because we're going to do some heat embossing. I've got some tree images from my perfectly plaid stamp set. So I've got this image here and this image here already mounted to my blocks. So let's ink this up. I'm going to stamp one of each image or twice. So we've got that solid one here. And this is going to be on these two. So I'll stamp one. Stamp two. And then I'll do the other image onto my shaded spruce. So, and I'm going to sprinkle on Whisper White embossing powder or white embossing powder and then heat set all of those. Okay, so I've got my tree punch here that also coordinates with this set and we're going to punch all of these out with our tree punch. Okay, I've also gone ahead and I've punched out a tree from our Perfectly Plaid Designer Series paper as well that match, coordinates with this stamp set. Okay, so I've got it in this color here. So now it's time for us to assemble our card. But before we do that, I am gonna add some jingle bells, these cute little bells to this little tree here. I've got some white linen thread um, so I am just going to wrap this around my tree with my bell and tie that into a bow. Okay so let's now assemble so I'll put these away right here so I'm going to put my red one in the middle and then we'll put these ones on the outside then we can fill in the gaps with these little babies, hey? Like so. We'll make sure that bell's right smack down there. Okay. So what I've done, I've gone ahead and I've added some dimensionals to the back of my little pieces here. But I'm going to stick these two down using some liquid adhesive. Shut that bell's all nicely in the middle. Okay, then we're going to stick my um, red tree down. Now, what I've done is I've double stacked my dimensionals. So I put one 
and then I'll put another one exact over the top of that one and we're going to stick this one right smack in the middle here and we'll put our blue one just pop that under a little bit lower and then we have our green one on the other side like so and then we can simply add this to our card base which is a standard size card base done out of thick whisper white cardstock and I've scored that in half at the ten and a half centimeter line and we can now stick this down. And there's our project all finished. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in our next video. Oh what fun it is to ride in a wild